Hello, it's Mad Dog Gaming here again today, bringing you episode 23 of my Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Road to Mass Prestige series. And yeah, once again, playing free for all guys, and we're playing on Eclipse DLC map here, Sphere. That's a pretty good map for DLC wise. Already is when uh, I was in grade five. We went to it was another Winnipeg trip. We went to a fort called Fort Gilwater. This is another fort near Winnipeg. We went to that. It was like based in the 1800s, where it was a little bit smaller than Fort Gary in Selkirk, Manitoba, when I went to grade nine. But anyways, this is when I went to grade five. It was called Fort Gilwater. It was based in the 1800s or whatever. The 1800s, based on like fur trade and stuff like that. And yeah, so we went there. They gave us a tour of all the places. There's different places where they made food. I believe it was like cornmeal or something. I can't remember what it was. This weird freaking gross food that they used to make back then, but they had to make buy, obviously. So that's the only thing they probably knew how to make back then. So. That's what they made, so we went around there. We actually played some games they used to play back then. And play now, and yeah, they gave us a tour. And the, There's some people there that actually act as if they're the people there. And there's also a gift shop. Raccoon Tail, which I still have hanging up on my wall that I'm looking at right now. Raccoon Tail, it's got a little keychain on it. You can hook it to something. If they wanted to, but yeah, it actually looks like a raccoon tail, so I'm guessing they actually made it into a fur. It was actually a raccoon tail. I don't know. Even if it wasn't, it's still pretty cool. Jeez, I'm getting sniped off here, but I got that from the gift shop there. There's a gift shop. There's all sorts of places they tour us around there at Fort Gibraltar, based in the 1800s or whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much my story today of going to Fort Gibraltar in grade 5. Another good uh, uh, field trip when I was younger to a fort. And I believe there was, there was one guy there, one older guy there who was acting as a person in the fur trade. Showed us all foxes, minks, and stuff like that. All those types of things. And it was really small though for Gibraltar. So it's not very big. But yeah, that's pretty much my story for today, guys, of going to another fort when I was a little bit younger. And just like Fort Gary, except for this one's a little bit smaller, it had a gift shop in it, some place to fur trade, some place to make stuff. And I believe we also got to eat some raisin bannock or stuff like that. They cooked out of fire, so we had to go like stations to stop and they tell us like one was the fur trade station, one was the one making the bannock or whatever. It's pretty good. Or raisin bannock or whatever, I don't know what it was, but yeah. It's pretty much uh my thing for today. Pretty much my story for today. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll play one more game. We'll play one more game because that was a quick one. It's only like three minutes. But yeah, we had to go to the stations to like the fur trade. The guy would tell us about the furs and the lady baking bannock over the fire. We got to sit over the warm fire. And yeah, it was a very hot day, needless to say. Uh, maybe I'll use a locust for a bit. Oh, get quick scoped on there, buddy. Nothing too special. I can't get him. No, no, no. Oh, I say if I was gonna fail there, that uh, I wasn't going down without a fight. That's for sure. There's somebody behind me. But yeah, that's pretty much my story today, guys. And stay tuned. I may tell another kid story when I was younger. But I'll probably tell another story. I don't know what story it's going to be. But like I say, stay tuned and you'll find out. And I also mentioned in my last video, I am making a montage. So I will be working on that hard, guys, for the next two months to make a good one-year anniversary. YouTube montage for my one year YouTube anniversary. And I like quick scoping. It's actually one of my favorite things to do and obviously Call of Duty. Most people like to quick scope. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? Freaking hiding from me. 
Where's he going? I don't even know where he went. Oh my god, that's the second hit marker I got on him. Really? Oh, and he killed me again. That was terrible there. I've only gotten three kills. You know, I'm not the best at quick scoping, obviously you can tell. When I'm more under pressure, I don't get as many quick scopes. When I'm not under pressure, I can do a little bit better. Obviously, right now, I'm a little under pressure here. Oh, my God. I should have moved there. Killed by a freaking grenade. And I've only gotten one clot in Black Ops 3. Mostly just singles. Very many kills this episode, guys. But uh, I want to get those clips. So I want to work on my quick scope in here. Oh, I thought I had him there. So you can quick scope as much as you can, but sometimes you just don't get them right on. Oh, that guy's going there. Oh, somebody's over there. I'm going there, buddy. Ah, hit marker. Break. Oh my goodness. That is terrible. I'm doing terrible today, guys. Trying to go too quick and too fancy, I guess. Oh my goodness, I'm doing terrible here. I hate Redwood. Redwood's one of my least favorite maps in Black Ops 3, honestly. Okay, there's another kill. There's another kill. Five there. A little better. Ah, uh, double back here. Ah, oh, I thought I had him. I swerved back too. My God. Oh, this guy likes to jump right ahead of me. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, please remember to like my videos down below, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mad Dog Gaming. As well, in the description box below, via my Twitch stream channel, which is Matt or Sir Dog or Sir Gaming 31. And yeah, I didn't do too good in this episode, guys, but maybe next episode, and yeah, hope you have a good day.